Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel at Sadie's Finances. I hope you're all doing well. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and watching my video. If you're new, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. If not, enjoy the video. So I'm going to be stuffing £200 and it will go towards a few saving challenges. I've decided not to record a sinking fund cash stuffing because I'm just going to do that from my Monzo account just to simplify it, just to make it easy rather than taking the money out then putting it back in again in a couple of months time so i just thought i'll just focus on my saving challenges and afterwards i'll see what i'm going to do with my sinking funds i might just do the i put the iris um placeholders so i could stuff like that i'm not sure i'll see so yeah so like i said i'm gonna be stuffing 200 pounds in two three binders so this is my personal care binder this is my like house sort of binder and this is my mini mini saving challenges binder so I'm going to be stuffing all three of them today I do have a bit of a cheat sheet going on but that's fine I just want to make sure that I'm allocating money to the right sections or oh, right challenges not sections right challenges so let's count to make sure we've got 200 here I managed to get quite a few five pound notes. I went to the bank to get this out. So that's good of me. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200 pounds. So let's put this here. And you know what I've got to get um, my pens, the fiber like fine line pens. So I'm gonna go and get that in a second. So let me just put this here. You might hear some background noises. I do apologize. Um, I'm just recording this on the evening because I was getting the it's the is it the impulse to sort of cash stuff my saving challenges, but also. Kind of wanted to record, didn't want to record, but I thought, let's record it and let's just do it on screen. But, um, I don't know where my pens are. Over oh, there they are. Um, bear with me for a second, I'm going to go and get that. I always do this. And do you know what? I realise whenever I record, I make... A total mess of my room and then it just takes twice as long to clean up all the mess so I've got my fine liners here we go I think I will need them but I'm not 100% sure so we counted and we've got 200 pounds so the first binder I'm going to stuff is this one Yay. it's my personal care binder so I've got the treat yourself envelope and here I've got the self-care wallet and I'm going to finally complete this challenge so last um, 20 pound note and that saved 200 pounds so I'm just gonna take this out so, um, what do you call it? I'm going to be using this money for my Japanese head spa and hair spa, not head, hair spa. I don't know what it is, I've got. Um, and um, what do you call it? So, yeah, the money will be going towards that. Any leftover money will go towards maybe clothes. So, I've got £100 here 20, 40, 60. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Nearly had a bit of a. <laughs> panic because if I was like missing 20 pounds that's 100 20 40 60 80 200 pounds that's 200 pounds saved which I'm really happy with and like I said this is going to go towards my treatment on the 8th of July which is also my birthday so you are seeing this before uh, my birthday which is good I hope I'm hoping you'll see it before my birthday I'm not 100% sure when this will go on my channel but but it will be at some point during July you'll see this so this is completed in July 
me for I saved 200 pounds. So it's nice to have completed one challenge during the month of July. So I'll put this towards the back. It gives us another challenge completed. So I'll do it like this. I could do it again and just do the um, icons, but I might just leave it for the time being because I've got lots of challenges to get through. And then I've got this one here, which I'll start towards the end of the month, hopefully, which is the mini saving challenge, and this saves £227, but I've got another £3 here, and it will save 230 but this isn't going to be a quick one, this I'm just going to um, just do it quite slowly. And I've done this challenge a few times because I used to purchase a lot of things from the aesthetics budget, but now she's no longer on Instagram, no longer has an Etsy channel, which is a real shame, but hey-ho, it is what it is. So, July, I'm going to mark off, um, what do you call it, £40. So, I'm going to, I don't want to ruin this, but I'm going to, because these challenges are lovely, but I want to get my use out of them, so I'm going to stuff £40. And I'll make sure this is a main focus, because this is going to be saving for my um, 40th, not 40th, 30th, I'm not 40, I'm not that old. I'm not saying 40, 40 is old, but I haven't reached that age. <laughs> I was about to say it's old, but it isn't old because you're only old as you, when you feel like you're old. I don't know if I put you that as well, but yeah, ignore that. That's £40 going in towards uh, my birthday fund. So there we go. And is anything else getting stuck here? No. I do owe money to these challenges and I will fund those. Just not yet. So that's past the care binder done. So now let's get into doing these binders. The mini saving challenge. The mini mini saving challenges binder. I feel like uh, my words are not coming out today properly, but hey ho. So I'm going to do 10 pounds here. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to mark it off like this because last time it was just a pain to um, take it off. So I'm going to just stuff 10 pounds into this challenge. And this will, I can't remember, it will go towards fun stuff. Actually, let me just colour it in. Otherwise, it just looks weird not colouring it in. Okay, that's done. Then the next challenge is the heart one. So I'm just going to see how much money I've got in here because I this all equals to fifty pounds. These hearts that I've removed, well, scratched off. So. All this equals to fifty pounds, so I'm gonna add thirty pounds to here. So if I do sixteen, twenty, twenty-six, thirty-six, thirty-nine, forty, fifty-one. Is that forty? Isn't it fifty-five? So yeah, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Equals to 50, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, it's 50, 50 pounds because the other four, four will be 50 pounds. So all I have to do is add 30 pounds here 10, 20, 30. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. So here we go, that's 50 pounds back here into the don't go breaking my heart and. All these little mini savings will go, to, some of them will go towards my house deposit essentially. So that's good, isn't it? Um, so I think in August or maybe towards the end of July, if I've got anything 
left over or if I get any side hustle money I'll um, probably might do never like scratch off or I might just leave it okay let's keep, go on to keep growing and it's this lovely petal challenge and I'm gonna put it in 10 pounds so my tick up colour it in two petals I do like this challenge and by the end of it altogether say it's 900 pounds but I'm only doing it in batches of 60 pounds it's 10 20 30 40 50 60 yep yeah. and then it will go into my like self-care envelope essentially and when I need to use the money I can do so 10 20 30 40 oh I don't know why I was doing that I was about to put 60 pounds in and then I would have realized um Sadia, you don't have enough money for any of the other challenges. So, yeah. Gold digger, I'm going to put in £20, no, £10. No, I'll put in £20. And... I'm only going to colour it in one object. The reason being is that the last time I did take the money out and put it in um, my, what do you call it, tin. So now I've got 10, 20 and I make sure I've got 60 pounds and then 60 will go towards the house envelopes and then when I reach a significant amount, I'll stuff it into the bank, essentially. So now it has 30 pounds. I'm just going to make sure that I'm ticking this as I go along, otherwise I'll forget to do it. So that's that done. So I'm hoping by the end of the month I'll add another £30 or more, depending, and then I can put the money in this envelope here which is my house one so this one I'm just going to leave because I've already got £20 here and I've got stuff another one just £25 save £200 I'm going to put in £10 I actually might do yeah I'll just do £10 I want to do a row at a time just to make it um, make sense essentially. So no, one of the rows is like 20 pounds, no, the second row is like, first row is 30 pounds, 20, 30, 20, 30, 20, 30, 20. So if I keep doing that, like completing a row at a time, then I know that I'm close to my um, amount that I need to put away essentially. Then if I go to this £10 saving challenge, I'm going to put in £10 in here. Oopsie, pull these legs spasm. them. I'm just going to do a cross, and that's £10. With the six challenge, I will do that once some of these scratch off challenges are done because that means I've got a bit more money and um, more like more money to play with essentially at the moment. If it's like bigger numbers, I won't have the amount to to fund essentially. Scratch and save will get £25, which is this one. I've got 10, 20, no 10. 15, 20, 25, and then I've got 25 left. Yes. So if I go here, 25 pounds go here. And what I might do is scratch off another one, so for next time I know. Or is that cheating? I think I might leave it and just do it when I have um, a challenge amount to scratch. I think that will just make it more fun. Here, I'm going to put in 10 pounds. Let's 
do green. I've been using quite a lot of the blue. So I'm going to do 10 bands. And to some here, I'm going to put in 10 pounds into the emergency band, which is this pink one. So this will save 200 as well. Both, like a rainy day emergency fan challenge, are saving 200 pounds each, which is a good amount. Because it will save 400. And that means I'll reach my 1000 uh, challenge. I don't know when I'll reach, when I'll complete these challenges, but hopefully by the end of the year or before by the or before or the end of the year so yeah, I'm trying to add quite a bit to these amount two four six eight ten mm -hmm. okay five ten I do apologise if I'm out of shot. I haven't been looking at the bare view camera just to make sure everything's in in um, shot. Okay, like that. <laughs> okay, so this is done. Um, and I've got a five pound left. So where shall I put that? Um, should I do one of these challenges? Um, or should I do a pumpkin? I don't think I should start these ones because these aren't like Oh, super important. But I could do this one. This is like a small one, or should I do? Where is it? Or should I do save? I could always use this to stuff in here. So, not in the world. What I'll do is, I'm going to do this one. Yeah. And I'm going to use green. Actually, I might use the darker green so that it shows better. So it's going to be a five pounds for each, so I'm just gonna just mark it like that because I won't be doing this challenge again. I think as cute as it is, it's fine. That's what these challenges are there for to be used because I feel like sometimes when you have when you keep doing a challenge over and again, you get bored of it, and that's that's what happens to me but there you go 200 pound all stuffed and it's good that i've recorded it <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have do like my the video and leave me a comment below let me know how you're getting on with your challenges thank you for watching until next time bye bye